They're saying no to John Cornyn. It's November 11th, 2024, and these are your headlines. Who's saying no to John Cornyn? Well, Republicans in Texas's largest Republican county, Tarrant County, have voted to reject John Cornyn, the senior U.S. Senator from Texas, as a possible candidate for majority leader of the Senate. On Saturday, members of the Tarrant County GOP Executive Committee passed a resolution stating that because Senator Cornyn has sided with Democrats in the past, he'd be the wrong fit to lead Republicans in the U.S. Senate. The resolution continues to say that the Tarrant County GOP would rather see someone who represents the America First agenda in that position instead. Tarrant County GOP Chairman Bo French told Texas Scorecard that Republicans are tired of people trying to undermine President Trump's conservative agenda. The local party will share the resolution with Republican senators and senators-elect to encourage them to choose a better candidate. Currently, the other senators vying for the position include South Dakota's John Thune and Florida's Rick Scott. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says his top priority for the upcoming session? Well, it's school choice especially after multiple pro-school choice candidates won their seats. During both the primary and general election, school choice, of course, played a key role in races, particularly for the Texas House. Anti-school choice advocates incorrectly insisted that conservative candidates who won in the primaries would lose their general elections races based on the issue. That, of course, didn't happen. With the wins, Patrick released a statement saying school choice would be filed As his top priority, Senate Bill 2, that's because Senate Bill 1 is reserved for the chamber's constitutionally required budget. According to Lieutenant Governor Patrick, during the last session, the state legislature appropriated $39 billion per year on public education. The school choice bill that was passed through the Senate three times was for $500 million. However, it continually died in the House. However, House Speaker Dade Phelan could be an impediment to the cause the next session, if he's elected as Speaker. The House stalled on school choice during the last session, giving government education unions leverage for a deal. However, instead of taking the deal, which included a limited version of school choice, they helped it fail. The 89th legislative session is set to begin on Tuesday, January 14th. America is at a crossroads. Now more than ever, Texas must step up and lead the country. We don't have time to mess around. The only way to save America is with a strong Texas. You and I know this, but so do the enemies of life and liberty. Therefore, you and I have no choice but to stand up and fight. I'm Sarah Gonzalez, and to the enemies of liberty, I say, come and take it. Break out the cake, break out the balloons. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson has announced his 100th lawsuit, 100, against the Biden-Harris administration. The target this time, a Federal Communications Commission rule that he argues undermines states' rights, essentially limits the charges for prisoner phone calls, forcing taxpayers to subsidize the difference. Attorney General Paxton, in a statement today, said that for the past four years, the Biden-Harris administration routinely violated the Constitution to implement an agenda that harmed our nation from unlawfully orchestrating the border invasion to attacking our oil and gas industries and illegally abusing taxpayer money to censor our own citizens. He said the federal government has been ruthlessly weaponized against the American people, but Texas has stood in their way. We proudly led the nation's fight to uphold the rule of law and restore constitutional rights when they were under attack. Now, this is, of course, notable because Attorney General Paxton is currently on the shortlist to be President Donald Trump's Attorney General when he resumes office in January, according to the conversation in D.C. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com. 